More live pictures from Sky 9 of this fire as it continues to run. Homes destroyed and damaged. The Lower North Fork fire is serving an early season reminder that this is wildfire season in Colorado. And I'm sitting here with Carol Walker, who's the executive director of the uh, Rocky Mountain Insurance Information Center. And Carol just made the comment, this seems to get earlier and earlier in I Colorado. I don't think we have a wildfire season anymore. Whenever we have a length of dry, hot weather, that's potential for wildfire in Colorado. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And those winds were just unbelievable. Yeah. All right, I was going down our list of things that you need to take uh, with you because there are still 6,500 some people under standby evacuation. And the list is it's quite lengthy. Uh, Social Security cards, credit cards, vehicle titles, marriage licenses, birth certificates, and your house deed. Well, and certainly these are things that you may be able to get copies of, but really when you're on that reverse 911, you just have a few minutes to evacuate. Think about those important financial documents that you would need. You know, like you said, the driver's license, social security card, those insurance documents. But as you and I were talking, if you've digitalized those or you have them in a safe place off premises, that is gonna give you that peace of mind where you can put safety first, take care of your animals, grab a few sentimental things. But really you need to be thinking about those important personal documents, financial documents that you'll need if you come back and everything unfortunately right. sadly is destroyed. We actually did a story with Carol not too many years ago where uh, we had you two teams. I can't remember how you, many I know you and I. We had one team with a plan and one, one team that didn't have a plan and you had five minutes to get out and it was a disaster for the team you and I that had no plan. It was a disaster. Well, it was. It was a five minute evacuation challenge and people were racing around. They didn't know where they were going to meet up. So have an evacuation plan, have those documents ready to go off premises, and then be thinking about your insurance coverages, how you're gonna have the right protection in place if you face what some of these folks are unfortunately facing. Do today. a home inventory, especially if you live in the mountains of Colorado, do it now and get it on a disc. I said to Mark, if we talk about anything, please, the people <laughs> lucky enough not to be in the path of this fire, yes. do a home inventory. We have free downloadable software. It walks you through room by room. You can scan in receipts, photographs, independent appraisals, and then you email it to someone. You can go and update it. Then when you're evacuating, you don't even have to think about it. You have that peace of mind. It takes the heartaches, the hassles right. out of that claims process. And as we're seeing, there's a lot of heartache in this fire already. Oh, it's just so sad. Anytime it takes this happens, your breath away, doesn't it? Really it really does. Uh, people just need to know much of this is insured just be getting in touch with your insurance agent your company representative right away get that claims process started if you're like that couple that did see their home burned down on television yeah. you want to be getting in touch with your insurance company and get that going carol walker with rocky mountain insurance information association thank you thank by you. the way we have all this information loaded on nine all right we'll be right back